Okay, in my earlier video, I show you how to make uh, your own trimming tool from the uh, hacksaw blade. But uh, I haven't really shown you how you hold your trimming tool. So today I'm going to show you how you hold it. Um, usually before I trim my parts, I usually like to grind my tool. So uh, when your tool sh is sharpened, it's easy to cut through the clay. So usually I like to uh, grind my tool before I trim my parts. Um, first, uh, when you are holding your trimming tool, always you want to find a support. And uh, I usually like to uh, extend. I use my left hand holding um, the outside of the part with my thumb extending. So this will be my support. Uh, my trimming tool will uh, kind of uh, hold it here. So I have a support here to when I'm cutting it. Okay, my thumb is extended and then my tool is holding right here. And first, I de uh, define the the right the the right width of my foot. So I trim it to the right size. And then uh, I first flatten my bottom because I was uh, cutting this off the hump so the bottom is not very level so the very first cut I will start from the, the tip point of my trimming tool I start from here the very center and then cut it under the very first cut I flatten my bottom and then, let me get at another angle so that it's easier for you to see it. Uh, when I'm cutting it, these fingers holding on the side of uh, the, the foot and then it's kind of guiding it. So using this corner to trim, to cut it. So I have the width of my foot, roughly, and then I'm going to remove the clay in the middle. And when I'm using it, I like to use the corner, the corner of my trimming tool. I'll start from the very center and kind of dig it in. And you move your tool outside. So this is the first cut, and then again, the second cut, and then the third cut. So you can see that I got uh, quite a bit of that. Um, I don't want to uh, uh, cut the root, so I have to check it constantly to check the right thickness by tapping it. Um, again. Make the foot a little bit narrower here. On. Uh, 
after you cut roughly, uh, now you want to uh, fine tune of your foot. Um, I'm holding my tool uh, the other way. Uh, start from the center and then kind of go through. So you have a, a 90 degrees. And remember when you are tapping, uh, when the clay becomes thinner, it sounds higher. And this is the uh, rough idea that uh, you, you need to memorize the sound. Okay, this is quite, uh, it's about right, the right thickness of my foot. So I take care of my foot first and then I'm going to remove a little bit more clay on the side of the bowl. And you can see that I'm resting my this fingers, okay, these fingers uh, right on the side of the, the bowl. So it's kind of like a guide in it. Also remember when you are trimming, you want to spin your wheel a little bit faster so that your surface will, uh, will be a little bit more smooth. If you uh, spin your wheel a little bit too slow, uh, sometimes you got an uh, uh, uneven surface. So you want to spin your wheel a little bit faster. And here's another way to hold the tool that this corner is very, very good. So I'm using the corner by holding my tool upside down and using the corner to cut through the clay. After I finish trimming the foot, I like usually like to uh, polish, burnish the foot a little bit. I'm using this uh, shiny rock to do it.
Okay, now uh, for my trademark of uh, chattering, I'm going to show you how I chatter. Uh, usually, when you are chattering, you want to uh, choose that blade that is longer, so uh, you will have more uh, vibration when you are chattering. Uh, this one is a little bit too short. Uh, you can compare this two. Okay, this one is longer. So I'm going to use this one. And when you are holding it, uh, make sure that you are holding, uh, okay, the wheel is spinning this way, so uh, I'm holding like this angle. So uh, when we are spinning, um, it kind of uh, push back my trimming tool. So I'm holding my trimming tool a little bit longer, so it vibrate more, okay, it vibrate more. So, uh, and uh, also when you are chattering, you want to spin your wheel a little bit faster, so uh, it vibrate more, okay? So, this is how I do. And I kind of used uh, one of the corner, uh, one corner, about this 90 degrees corner, to, to do the chattering. Okay, spin the wheel a little bit faster. Um, there you go. Okay. Make a mark here to define it. Brush it away. The dust. So this is the uh, a chattering mark. And remember when you are doing the chattering, it's kind of like one time event. You want to go uh, consistently and uh, evenly when we are spinning and you just go on it once you don't want to go back and forth back and forth and then that uh, pattern is not very very pleasant so uh, make sure that you only go once from here and then move your hand move you too slowly but you want to go all the way down till whatever the point then you stop. You don't want to go back and forth. Okay, that's how you get a nice chattering mark. Just on a one one time event. Okay. So let me get a closer to be a closer view of the chattering mark. Okay. Um, this is the uh, uh, bowl that I just trimmed. Um, I usually uh, turn it upside down and trim the rim a little bit so that the rim looks thinner and looks more elegant for my bowl. Um, a very little bit taller foot, the bowl looks uh, more elegant. So this is the finished bowl with a uh, copper red inside and uh, some other grease on top of it. And uh, you can see the rim is quite thin. And uh, let me flip over. You can see the uh, uh, chatter mark. So the bowl with the uh, chatter mark, and this part is just the uh, uh, red iron stand to. To the decoration, and uh, I put very light iron stand here, and use the sponge it up so you can see that the lighter color is uh, was sponge up, and the, the indent was filled with a little bit of uh, red iron stand.